Excitement was in the air on November 16, 2022 at 7.48 a.m. as the Orion space capsule took off with the powerful SLS launch vehicle from Cape Canaveral Cosmodrome in Florida. This marked the beginning of a new era of human-crewed spaceflight as NASA and the U.S. embarked on the Artemis program to establish the first permanent lunar station in just a few years. Join us as we discuss this thrilling mission that will change everything for humanity. Let's discover what NASA has in store for the moon and what life would be like for the first lunar settlers. The launch of the new SLS rocket by NASA is a remarkable achievement. With its immense power, sending a space capsule to the moon is now possible. While this feat may sound familiar, the technical challenge involved is immense. Launching material and people to the moon takes incredible force and pristine accuracy to ensure a safe landing. The thrust required is significantly higher than launching a satellite or a space telescope like James Webb. But with the new SLS rocket, we are one step closer to exploring the vast wonders of our universe. The journey to the moon has been bumpy, with the SLS rocket technology causing several delays in the launch of the first Orion spacecraft. But NASA couldn't afford any more setbacks in their race to the moon, so they announced the Artemis mission. The competition is fierce, with the Chinese rover Chang'e 5 recently discovering water and raw materials that could power environmentally friendly nuclear fusion on Earth. It's not just about exploration and discovery anymore. Economic reasons also drive the focus. Whoever can establish the first airline to the moon, capable of transporting large cargo, will ultimately come out on top. And it's not just NASA in the game anymore. Blue Origin and SpaceX have also set their sights on colonizing and utilizing the moon's resources for economic gain. Exciting times lie ahead in the world of space exploration. SpaceX and NASA are set to cooperate on the Starship Human Landing System, which will take NASA scientists to the moon. Infrastructure such as pipelines, roads, and 3D printed housing modules will be implemented for human return to the moon. The Artemis III mission in 2026 will take the first humans to the moon since 1972, followed by the Artemis IV mission the next year. Lunar flights by NASA and SpaceX will likely become commonplace depending on how humans handle lunar sojourns. The first crew to land on the moon should stay at most five days due to the uncertain effects of weightlessness and the lack of Earth's gravitational pull on the human body. The second crew will stay for one month, with more extended stays of up to six months planned. The human landing and transport system will use a variant of the SpaceX Starship, providing two astronauts with a living and working area of about nine meters in diameter for exploration tours of the moon. Soon, Artemis missions will take up residence in unique houses constructed directly on the moon using raw materials found on site and with the help of 3D printers. The first permanent crew will consist of four astronauts who will explore the lunar surface, set the stage for resource exploitation, and establish the first lunar greenhouses. For those of us watching from Earth, the experience's promises to be nothing short of awe-inspiring. However, the colonization of the moon is just the beginning of much more far-reaching projects. Soon, we will witness the first flights to Mars because the moon is just a stepping stone for humanity's journey into space. Unlike anything we have ever seen, it will be a living community of man and machine. We can expect to see entirely new concepts of living and working on the moon, as there will be a harmonious symbiosis between the work of man and machine. Rovers and robots will be doing most of the work, especially where it takes longer for humans to work and stay. NASA has gained a wealth of experience by constructing Mars rovers such as Perseverance and Curiosity, making it easier to build lunar rovers and bring them to the celestial body. Human accommodations and supply systems on the Moon must be technically perfect facilities. This is because the outside conditions are lethal to humans within a very short time making it critical to have a fully functional supply of breathing air and a safe compartmentalization of habitats at all times. NASA also plans to build lunar houses that function as living artificial intelligence to protect and ensure the Moon's inhabitants' well-being. A pipeline will be built from the Moon's south pole to the first Artemis ground station to provide breathing air with oxygen extracted through molten regolith electrolysis. The extracted oxygen will be transported to a depot near the human habitats 
and used for rovers and rocket engines. By 2024, construction on the protection technology should be ready, with the first Artemis astronauts laying the groundwork for pipeline construction and using lunar rovers for transportation. Did you know that the rover can be driven by an astronaut sitting behind the wheel or remotely controlled? It's true. NASA is even experimenting with the possibility of it functioning as an autonomous vehicle controlled by artificial intelligence. The plans call for the Lunar Terrain Vehicle to be used in lunar exploration, especially in the search for water ice and other valuable resources like a lunar camper. The Habitable Mobility Platform will be equipped to make exploring the lunar landscape even more exciting. It's a hybrid of a habitation module and a means of transportation and can be operated and driven by humans without spacesuits. This vehicle includes all major life support systems, allowing lunar explorers to make days-long excursions into the lunar landscape. Excitingly, plans call for the vehicle to be deployed sometime between Artemis 5 and 8. The Olympus Housing Project You may be wondering what a moon house would look like. NASA also needed a more precise idea, so they entrusted the task to Earth's most innovative and progressive companies. The outcome is a 3D printed system created by the US-based company ICON, which is presently undergoing testing. This $57 million contract involves constructing a complex facility where people can reside and work on the moon. A component made from lunar dust was printed by an ICON printer in 2018. Then, in 2021, the Mars Dune Alpha Habitat was created on NASA's site in Houston, Texas. This habitat provides astronauts with everything they need to live and work, resembling a Big Brother container. The first natural lunar habitat, Project Olympus, will use 3D printing technology to create and construct modules on-site during Artemis Missions 5. Mixing regolith with a resin-like chemical will optimally protect the houses against radiation. The resulting substance is more robust, flexible, and has fewer pores than cement. The first practical demonstration for Project Olympus is planned for 2026, representing another milestone in human space exploration. Spacesuits are crucial for space travel, and in April 2023, NASA unveiled their brand new prototype lunar spacesuits. Axiom Space, a leading private spaceflight company, has developed a cutting-edge suit. This innovative suit offers enhanced flexibility and thermal protection compared to the modules utilized in previous Apollo missions. The suit comprises multiple layers of advanced protection, a backpack that houses all the essential systems, and a high-definition camera mounted on the helmet. During a personal demonstration, Axiom's chief engineer, Eric Vallis, showcased the impressive capabilities of the suit. Vallis spun around, did knee bends, and even briefly crawled across the floor to demonstrate the exceptional flexibility of the new astronaut suits. Overall, Axiom Space has created a revolutionary suit to elevate safety and performance during space missions. It's fascinating to think about the engineering challenges that must be overcome to send humans safely to the moon. The suits worn by the Apollo astronauts were a good starting point, but they quickly encountered issues with the abrasive lunar dust and sharp rocks. Incredibly, tiny particles could penetrate the zippers and wreak havoc on the technology. NASA initially considered using darker colors like black or blue, but ultimately settled on the classic white because it reflected the sun rays the best and was highly visible even on moonlit nights. It's incredible to imagine that humans will be wearing brand new spacesuits in just a few years and heading back to the moon. It's exciting to think about the discoveries that will be made and the challenges that will be overcome as we continue to explore our universe. The prospect of building the first moon base is an incredibly exciting one. NASA's plans for this ambitious project involve a range of innovative technologies and strategies, from 3D printing to using lunar resources. While many challenges remain to overcome, the potential benefits of establishing a permanent human presence on the moon are vast. The possibilities are endless, from conducting groundbreaking scientific research to testing new technologies and even serving as a jumping off point for further space exploration. With NASA's commitment to this goal, we can look forward to an exciting future of lunar exploration and discovery. We hope you've enjoyed this video, and as always, please be sure to share your thoughts down below. See you next time for more exciting space updates.